Thousands of Oakland families playoff Sunday was a nail biter long before the big Niners game. That was because of a massive cable failure that lasted most of the day. KTV's Tom Vacar joins us now live from Oakland with a look at what's vulnerable and what is now on your cable system. Well, it's very important to understand one thing, and that is there's a great big difference between creating isolated out outages and trying to shut down much or all of a cable system. A big difference. The TV cables pierced by multiple bullets early on Sunday morning cut off tens of thousands of customers. Crews worked most of the day, ultimately angering some 20,000 customers who missed part of the 49ers game or had to go elsewhere to see it. Probably time to get YouTube TV like I have, so that's not an issue. So, yeah, that's, that's what I do is uh, streaming services and stuff like that. That could be something that crosses other people's minds that this is an easy way to just mess up a lot of people's <laughs> lives for a short period of time. Howard Kidorf is managing partner of Pioneer Communications, a worldwide firm serving land and undersea cable companies. These activities uh, have been happening for um, many decades and for the most part their impact has been very small. Nonetheless, cable systems are one of the most vulnerable and easiest of critical systems to attack on the local level. The parts that supply service to individual businesses uh, are out there in the street and are, are somewhat vulnerable. The cables hang out in the open on utility poles almost everywhere and the many widespread underground vaults are clearly marked. The fact is there are all kinds of infrastructure that are out in the open and they are vulnerable to damage. Example, electrical lines, or how about this, cell towers. They're damaged from time to time, sometimes deliberately, sometimes by accident. By category, the most common causes of cable damage are animals, vehicles knocking over utility poles, then vandalism and equipment theft, followed by weather and acts of God, such as earthquakes. Chances are, if it's equipment that's in my neighborhood, it's going to have a very small impact in terms of the number of households and businesses affected. But the main data centers, the distribution facilities, and the interstate and intercity con connections are heavily guarded from physical and cyber attacks to prevent truly massive outages, which succeed almost all of the time. Reporting live, Tom Baker, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And, and Tom, just to clarify, in this case in Oakland over the weekend, it, it, authorities do not believe that whoever fired these shots w was intending to fire them in, into these cable lines. Apparently, there's some video that shows somebody leaning out of a car and firing a gun 17 times up in the air because they recovered 17 of these brass uh, backings to them. But nobody knows what was in that person's mind, whether or not they were just trying to make noise or whether or not they were trying to do some damage to some sort of a system without realizing perhaps what they were doing. We still don't know that. They haven't caught anyone yet, and it's not likely they will. Yeah. All right, Tom Vacar live in Oakland. Thank you.